can the customer PCs in the LAN ping the internet? So let's look at Alpine Linux 1. Here it is, ifconfig shows that it has got an IP address of 10.1.10.1, ping google.com. It did resolve and it can ping google.com. What about this PC? Alpine Linux 4, ping google.com resolved and it can ping google.com. So let's go back to router one. What happens is the PCs are sending their traffic to router one and router one is forwarding the traffic to router three, which in turn is sending it to the route reflector 172.16.3.1, which in turn is sending it to router two 172.16.2.1, which in turn is sending it to iOS V router 1, 172.16.1.1. That then goes to the NAT cloud, which then sends it onto my internal network and onto the internet. Now I've got a nice little device, a web Java client, which I'll add to the topology. That'll allow us to test whether we can open up a web browser to the internet. So that's now connected to F1 slash five on the switch. I'll need to put that into a VLAN. So let's put that device into VLAN 30. So on the switch, show run. Interface F1 slash five. It's part of VLAN one at the moment. So switch port access VLAN 30. Save that config. I'll start this device up. Open up a console. There's the device. I'll open up Firefox. Let's see if we can get to the internet. At the moment we can't. Let's check our IP addressing. No IP address configured, so nano Etsy network interfaces. What I'll do is configure this device to use DHCP. In a previous video, we configured the router to allocate IP addresses. So service networking restart. It's sending out DHCP discovers. Doesn't seem like it's getting one. Let's check our router. Show run. We've got this DHCP pool configured for VLAN 30. Let's confirm interfaces on the switch. Show run interface F1 slash five. What I'll do is shut that interface down and then no shut it, just to check that does come up properly. It's come up. I'll restart networking again. It took it a while, but it's got an IP address, so let's confirm that. ifconfig, it's got an IP address. Can it ping google.com? That did resolve and it can ping Google. So open up a web browser. Let's try gns3.com. We can see that we can connect to Google, but slow, and we are able to connect to GNS3. While the page is loading, I'll do a search for Cisco BGP as an example in Google, and there you go. We can see the output. And here we can see the GNS3 website. So a bit slow, but it proves the point. What we've been able to do is get our SMB network over here talking 
to the internet. through BGP. So, small medium business network here on the right. Let's call that SMB1. The PCs are being allocated IP addresses via DHCP from router one. It's doing into VLAN routing as it's configured as a router on a stick. It's the default gateway for these PCs. Its default gateway is router three. Router three is configured for DHCP and is allocating an IP address to router one. And in the BGP part of the network, I've configured this router as a route reflector, iOS V router one, Dynamips router two, and Dynamips router three have BGP relationships to iOS V router two. And iOS V router one is configured for NAT to allow us to go via the NAT cloud to the internet. So what we need to do in the next video is configure the rest of the ISP network. And what I'll do is add HP routers to the BGP portion of the ISP network so that we have some multi-vendor interoperability. Let me know what else you want me to add to the ISP network. Are there other vendors that you'd like me to add? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.